Today, you are going to get to come behind the scenes as I record my podcast. I felt that the requests that I've been getting this weekend, people wanting me to share my opinions on the Taylor Swift, Scott Borchetta situation, I learned a long time ago that you need to make sure that you control the narrative because people can take things out of context. So I'm going to go ahead and let you in on that. For those of us who are meeting for the first time, my name is Rick Barker. I am the former manager of Taylor Swift. I uh, got my start at Big Machine Records, and I would love nothing more than you to go down below, subscribe to this video if you like uh, more things like this. So I'm going to let you in behind the scenes as we record this episode of the podcast. So welcome aboard. In this episode of the podcast, I am going to uh, touch on something that honestly I was hoping that I wouldn't have to talk about again. It pains me when I see people that had played such a huge role in my life. And when I was able to see the role that they played in each other's lives, and now all of a sudden everything's coming down to he said, she said in the media, it absolutely uh, rips me apart. Last week when the Taylor Swift, Scott Borchetta part two came about, these trade publications were all reaching out and they're like, hey, would you, we're doing a story on this. Of course they're doing a story on it, but hey, we'd love to interview you for this. And I'm like, no, 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 no. There's no way that I'm going to let anyone take my words edit them the way that they want to edit them and possibly take them out of context. And I wasn't even going to do a YouTube video or a podcast on this, but on Friday, there was something that took place uh, that I felt was once again an opportunity to teach. So I'm going to talk about that first, and then I'm going to share my feelings on the situation as a whole. So what happened on Friday is someone took what Taylor wrote out of context and made threats against Big Machine Records. Now, if you're not certain of what it is that I'm talking about, I'll make sure that there's links in the show notes and below this video on where you can go see the initial uh, post that was made over social media about a situation that uh, Taylor and Big Machine Records is going through. All that was said was, is that I want the fans to let Scott and Scooter know. and. Someone took that to mean that she wanted them to go fight her battles, and I can almost guarantee you that is not what she meant. Uh, I read it the same way that a lot of people read it. The danger is this, and this is the teaching lesson. When we let fans into our business, sometimes the fans want to do everything they can to be noticed by their favorite artist. Uh, there's a reason why uh, famous artists have security. It's to protect them from certain fans who take things way too far. Uh, there's been times, you know, that we've seen letters of fans thinking that a song was written about them and the artists, you know, there's, you've heard the stories. I don't need to go into a lot of the stories. Well, unfortunately, someone took it a little too far on Friday, made threats to Big Machine Records. It's The office is right across the street from my office. I have friends that work at that record company. And the unfortunate part is that if it continues, somebody's going to probably end up hurt. Uh, that's the sad part, thinking that they're doing something that their favorite artist asked them to do when that's not what the situation was. So let's, as artists, uh, let's be careful what we throw out there uh, and, and what we ask people to do on our behalfs. You know, we've seen what fans can do, you know, just over the last couple of years, we've had fans uh, show up at concerts and we've watched people that we adore get murdered by fans. It sucks, but that's just the reality that we live in right now. We can't control someone's thoughts. We can't control what they can get access to. I'm not here to get political, but a lot of you understand what I'm talking about. There are certain things that we can't control, but we can control our words. We can control the message that we put out there. So crossing my fingers that nothing bad happens, but I just wanted to let artists know, let's be careful sometimes when we try to get the fans involved. The other thing that I want to share, and the reason that this is so personal and one of the reasons why I wouldn't share with these other outlets when they asked is because I'm watching two people that absolutely had a huge impact on my life I'm watching just like the rest of you what's going on in the news. 
and it kills me. The legacy that these two created together, the lives that they impacted together, the ability that Taylor was given by Scott to write her own material, the ability that Scott was given by the family to believe in him in the beginning. Nobody was knocking down doors to sign a 16 year old and let her write all her own songs and put it out. That just wasn't happening. Nobody was beating down the doors to invest in a record company by this promo guy who'd had success being a promo guy but had these crazy ideas, but they believed in each other. That's what was, you know, so exciting to see was the fact that they believed in each other to be early on when Scott believed enough in me to have me come work at Big Machine Records and he felt and believed in me enough to give me Taylor to teach her radio and for Taylor and her family after that time we spent together to believe in me to give me the opportunity to manage her career with zero experience they both had a huge impact on me. Scott always challenged Taylor and I to think different and to do things different and Taylor always challenged Scott to don't be so close-minded don't think like the rest of the industry they were perfect for each other now both of them would have had success because of the type of people that they are but I think their success hit this level that it hit because they had each other because there was a trust because there was a willingness to be different. Scott used to always tell us, start it crazy and work backwards. You know, Scott would let us go out and prove things. You know, our song made it on her first record and was her first number one song that she wrote by herself, her first number one song and a song that she wrote by herself because she went out and played it for the audience and the audience went on to it and she was able to report back to the label, this is what's happening. I was in those meet and greet lines for three and four hours watching the impact that she had. I was there watching the world get to know who Taylor Swift was. And a lot of that was because we were allowed to do that because of Scott Borchetta. So on a personal note, I pray that they get this whole thing figured out. I pray that the legacy that they both leave behind has to do with the music and the impact it had on the world. And I hope at some point that Everyone just doesn't judge what's happening now as what has transpired, you know, over the last 10 plus years. The world is a better place because of Scott Borchetta and Taylor Swift. And the world is a better place musically, in my opinion, because they did it together. This is just my opinion for those of you that are new to me that are like, who the hell is this Rick Barker guy? And why is he talking about Taylor Swift and Scott Borchetta? Just go to Google, type in Rick Barker, Taylor Swift. That will tell you everything you need to know. I'll also make sure that there's a link to uh, a couple of the articles below this. It's just right now, I always want to take these situations and be able to teach because of it. The music industry has its own set of rules. The deals that were signed years ago were standard in the music industry. I'm excited about the music business. The music business is what allows someone like Chance the Rapper to go out and win a Grammy without having a record deal. I want you guys to focus on the music business. The industry is going to do whatever the industry does, but when all said and done, you know, remember where we came from. Let's remember who were the people that believed in us in the beginning when no one else did. And let's do everything we can to make this world a better place and not bring any additional chaos. I think we have enough. So there you have it. I'm glad you were able to be a part of the shooting of this podcast. I hope this made sense. If this is something that you're into, constantly wanting to be taught, you can go below this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. Uh, follow the links below. I would love to know more about what you thought in the comments. Uh, it's just one of those things where we all have platforms. What are we going to use our platforms for? I wanted to use mine today as a way to teach. So I appreciate you. Uh, if you would feel that having somebody like me on your team would bring value to you, I give that opportunity every single month. Just go to managemymusiccareer.com. The link is below this video. Take the manager assessment. Who knows, maybe one day you and I could work together as well. It's been awesome serving you. I'll see you in the next video.